Thank you for choosing Groupon clone from Contest Support. Now I'll be showing how to add new deals. Let me go to admin panel. Here is the admin panel. Now let me show you how to add deals. Let me click on add deals at the uh, top right corner. is opening up now here uh, we have to choose the product type as virtual product so let me click on the drop down let me select virtual product then click on continue okay here is a page where we will be uh, giving all the information in regards to the uh, deals as a first attributes it's asking for deal name so we have to put in the uh, deal name here and the description of the deals and here uh, you have to select the status whether it is enabled or disabled so by default let's we have to select enabled now here at the, at the below you you have uh, about the company here you have to, you can give the company address or the description of the company or you can give both the uh, company description as well as the address of the company here you can mention the uh, website address of the company and here we have something called coupon valid tail so this is the validity of the coupon that will be printed on the coupon now it's asking whether it, this deal particular deal after the deal is achieved whether it has to be uh, shown listed on uh, recent deals or not so if you want to list it, listed it on uh, recent deals then you can select yes otherwise you can have it no so here is the coupon conditions limits i mean the terms of con terms and conditions of the uh, coupon which will be printed on the coupon and just below that we have something called minimum coupons to be purchased this is the target set for the deals to be achieved uh, example if we set this to 50 then only 50 then only when 50 people buy it then it is considered as deal achieved then then it comes to uh, deal expires so this is a this is a time when uh, exactly the, this particular deal will be expired and after this the new deal will be activated the upcoming deal or the other deal the next deal which is on the row will be activated immediately then it's asking for the phone number of the company and here is it's asking for deal achieved whether it's yes or no so here uh, is an additional option and uh, if in case the deal is not achieved uh, if you want to make it as deal achieved, you can make it uh, here. You can change it and change it manually to make this deal achieved. Then it's there, then it's asking for email of a company who's giving the deal, offering the deal. Then there is something called map. So by um, for generating the map code, just go to maps.google.com. just give the uh, full address or the company name for which you want to generate the map okay here is the company information so just click on the link at the top right this will give you the two links uh, which ha which can be embedded we have to select the second one which says paste html to embedding website just copy this and paste it here that's it and then it's asking for fine print and highlights of the uh, products here you can give this and uh, if you want to format those fine fine print and highlights you can always use the uh, use this editor to format the text or change the font style or change the color next is asking for the cities so if you want to uh, we have we also have uh, options to uh, uh, show the deals on the website for different cities so here in the drop down you will have uh, you, ha you have uh, three cities so uh, if you want to assign these cities to one of the uh, any one of the cities here you can assign it here if you want to add more cities or if you want to change the cities you can always do it from the on the uh, from the back end I will, I will tell you that uh, on the separate video tutorials
then it's asking for the discussion identifier this is very important if you want to have the discussion for this particular deal so just it's going to be the unique name which have which you need to mention it here so you'll be using this same name on the blog when you uh, when you associate the uh, discussion for this deal next comes the maximum coupons per customer you can also restrict how many coupons a customer can purchase so if you want to um, restrict to one then you can mention it one so that only uh, one coupon can be purchased by a customer okay the next comes after entering all these information you we uh, we have to mention the prices right so on the left side you'll see the tab called prices let me click that so here it's asking for price which has to be uh, the original price of the product or, or the coupon and the uh, special price which is the price which is offered by the company and then it's asking for the date so this is a date from uh, from when the deal has to be activated so you you can uh, either you can have it for a single day from 28th i'm sorry uh, from 27th to 27th or you can also extend it to one or two days like 27 to 28 so this deal will be shown for two days so that's your choice next comes images this is where you will add the images for the deal uh, for example this image this image so so just you can you you uh, just you have to click on browse files and then upload up, upload the files the uh, images will be assigned to this deal next comes the categories so here you can decide whether you want this particular deal to be associated to the main deal or side deal if you want this particular deal to be uh, to be shown as main deal then you can simply select main deal here otherwise if you want this deal to be uh, shown on the side deal then just take the I mean mark the side deal that's it so when you click save now the deal will be activated and it will be shown on the front page just like this thank you